Innovation has always been synonymous with the Laser Lamps brand and nothing says innovation more than giving the driver extra control over their high beam lighting. Flash to Dim is a technological advancement that we first launched on the Glide product and on the product shown on this vehicle, Sentinel Generation 2. In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you exactly how it works and where it can be useful for the driver. So why flash to dim? Well, for the driver, there's a number of reasons why they need to operate the lights in two different output modes. First item is regulatory. So the regulations in a particular country might require the driver to operate in a road legal low output mode but then of course they might drive across a border into another territory or another country where there is no upper limit on the high beam light output so they would want to switch into that higher output mode the second can be conditions on the road so if it's raining heavily or there's snow the driver might want to run the lights in a lower output mode. So we didn't want to add extra wires and we didn't want to add extra components. And so for that, we can switch between the modes by the switching off and the switching back on of the high beam. So all lights with flash to dim enabled will be delivered to the customer in a default mode, which means that the lights will always come on at full brightness 100% output. If the driver wants to decrease the brightness as they're driving on the road, let's say they're driving towards a road sign, they're getting a lot of glare coming in, they rapidly turn their high beams off and back on again in less than half a second, and they will see the high beam transition in brightness from 100% down to the lower output mode, whether that be 20%, depending on the product. If the driver would like to then switch back up to the high output mode again, once they've gone past the road sign, well, it's very simple. They just flash the high beam off again and back on in less than half a second. And again, they will see the high beam transition back up to full brightness again. But actually, if the driver prefers to always run their lights in high output mode and they never want to boost it down, then they can actually do a manual setting operation of the high beam. So in order to operate this permanently in high output mode, run the high beam for exactly 20 seconds and then they turn the high beams off and back on rapidly 14 times. On the 14th time, they would leave the high beam on and the high beam will blink twice to indicate that now the high output mode only is selected. In case the driver is driving in a country where the regulations require them to always run in a lower output, so the ECE approved low output mode, then the driver can run the high beam for exactly 20 seconds at that moment, they then flash the high beam off and back on 19 times. And on that 19th time, they would leave the high beam on and they will see the high beam blink three times to indicate that the low output mode has now permanently been selected on that light. In the event that you want to go back to the default mode, uh, well, it's very simple. Uh, you just simply have to run the high beam again for 20 seconds and then you flash the high beam off and back on nine times. And of course, if you've got canny fitted as we have on this vehicle, uh, it's very simple. You simply go into the output channel control window on your canny LZR app and then you would select the output which is relating to the high beams. You would put it into manual mode and then you simply slide across the high beam on and high beam off the required number of times. Not forgetting of course that 20 second pause that you need to do before you start switching the high beam on and off. So flash to dim is a fantastic solution to a real world problem 
and people will absolutely love driving with all of our products that have this feature inbuilt. Please do check out our other videos that explain our other innovations and our other product features, uh, or please get in touch with us if you've got any more questions. Until next time.